So my involvement with UCL Grand Challenges started about 10 years ago when I was a really new clinical academic working at UCL, trying to find funding for an idea um, for a project to improve newborn care in low resource settings. And so I applied to Grand Challenges um, with Patty Koskova and the team in computer science to develop an early prototype of something called the NeoTree which is a digital learning health system for newborn care. So I think with all projects, to get the first sort of prototypes and pilot data is really difficult. So it provided that seed funding that enabled us to have some baseline data and in terms of the NeoTree, a prototype that we could take to um, healthcare workers in Bangladesh initially and say, actually, this is an idea, what do you think? And so we wouldn't have been able to do either of those things without the Grand Challenges funding. And then the second really important thing is that the data from that and the information from that enabled to get us to get the next level of funding. So those bigger grants that, um, you know, has resulted in the project that we have at the moment. The premise of the NeoTree is that of the 2.3 million babies that die every year under the age of 28 days, Two thirds of those deaths could be prevented, not through fancy drugs or really expensive equipment, but just through delivering the basic care at the bedside for every baby. And so what we have done, uh, working closely with nurses and doctors in Bangladesh, Malawi and Zimbabwe, is to develop a digital learning health system, which we've called the NeoTree. And what the NeoTree does is at the bedside, they collect data and then when the nurse or doctor inputs the data, the back end of the application then provides clinical decision support. So we're able to deliver that evidence-based care that is low cost, that we know that's effective to every bedside. I work in the global health space and so you need to be working with and for partners so I, you know, I'm very much directed by my co-leads in Malawi and Zimbabwe and so we work with implementation teams and also academic teams there as well. In our clinical setting, um, this I can confidently say this is the first such kind of a digital system collecting data and managing newborn babies on the bedside. Even the other um, clinical areas as well do not have such systems. It's only our neonatal unit, which is privileged to have that system. With all that data, we can delve into any kind of research because we now have a system that can enable us to store the data and use it at any time. Within the NeoTree team, we have behavioural scientists, qualitative researchers, software developers, computer science experts, data pipeline experts, quantitative biostats. We do machine learning on the data, so we have AI, machine learning, um, health economists, and obviously clinicians on the ground. So one of the brilliant things about the, the UCL Grand Challenges is that sort of initiative to bring disciplines together um, to try and take a project forward. NeoTree is unique in that way. It really manages to bring different people on, on, on board. Um, I think for me, being a pediatrician who was completely clueless about data, having to interact with uh, people like Yali in the data management science has been quite an education experience on its own without me sitting in class. Also, just the international collaboration um, with knowing that it works elsewhere, it gives you encouragement that it could work in your setting too. And then it just doesn't leave you at a national platform. Having the ability to present it at the United Nations General Assembly was extraordinary. And so you, you find yourself relevant at all levels. You're helping a very tiny baby whom you don't know and their mothers you don't know. And then you appear on big fora with presidents and the span of the inter-collaboration or cross-collaboration within NeoTree is extraordinary. So to date, we've cared for over 38,000 babies. It's been used by 1,200 clinicians. 
we are in the closing stages of getting funding to roll out to more hospitals and primary health clinics. So at the moment we're in four hospitals and one primary health clinic. And by the end of next year, we'll be in seven hospitals and 15 primary health clinics. In terms of impact, so we've had qualitative and quantitative feedback from clinicians on the ground that have said that it's highly usable, is acceptable and feasible, and that they feel it helps them deliver better care. And then we have observed measures of improved care, such as improved rates of keeping the baby the right temperature, Um, So by that, I mean that when a baby's admitted, if they're admitted cold, they're more likely to die. When we first implemented, 80% of babies were admitted cold, and we've managed to reduce that down to about 30%. Another example of impact is that on discharge, 97% of babies were being prescribed oral antibiotics unnecessarily. And so through the decision support that we deliver on discharge, we've reduced that down to 3%, which um, you know, has incredible impacts on things like antimicrobial resistance and the use of scarce resources within those settings. We've also done some health economics evaluation of impact of neotrees. So we looked pre and post at death rates and um, we found an overall reduction of 10% in all deaths for all babies admitted. And then we looked specifically at low birth weight babies because they're the most vulnerable. And we found a halving of death rates, which is still far too many, but a huge improvement on what was happening before. And then following on from that, we looked at the cost of that impact. So how much would it cost per healthy life year saved? And so um, through that analysis, we found it would be five pounds. So only just a little bit more expensive than a fancy coffee around the corner. We can save a baby's uh, life and add healthy life years for each baby seen. We have also been able to impress our local Ministry of Health here and they asked the Neo Tree to build the newborn module into the national electronic health recording system. So we know with that kind of approach, Neotri can then reach out to every other hospital or healthcare facility in the country. We have also had very good preliminary discussions with the president of the African Union Association so to work with the Neotri and build a system that can be adopted and implemented anyway in Africa. This plays very well with our long-term vision to reach to as many newborn babies as possible everywhere in Africa and the rest of the globe. I think that the value for me and I think should be going forward is I was a really junior, relatively junior clinical academic with this slightly uh, crazy idea. And if we can support junior people coming through with new ideas where you can't otherwise get the funding, I think that's um, hugely, hugely important.